Hi fellow batchers. Today I'm going to show you how to use my buttons.bat macros. Link to the code in the description. First, let's take a look at the help menu. Syntax structure is explained at the top of the screen. There are five macros in buttons.bat, each macro has a help menu accessed by its name as shown in this help output. Basic usage examples are shown in gray. Make.btn is the macro that defines buttons. Argument 1, group name, and switch slash s button text, are mandatory parameters of make.btn. Group name is a variable that helps differentiate between types of button. Slash s, button text defines what text or characters the button is to contain. Make.btn accepts optional switches to define button position, foreground, background, and border color, toggle switches, slash t and slash tm to flag a button as toggling on or off when clicked. Through the use of a true or false value in variable, btn group name index state. Slash tm, toggle mandatory forces the last clicked button to maintain a true state for when a group of buttons must have an option selected. Slash D, sets a button's toggle state to true as a default. Slash CD, variable allows a conditional default to be defined if the slash S button text is contained in the variable supplied to slash CD. Slash N, sets a button's group index to 1, resetting that group. Most useful if the buttons are being defined in a function or label that is repeatedly executed. Get.click is a multi-purpose macro that performs three key actions. First, all buttons in each supplied group name are displayed. Next, mouse input is taken using BGEXE and the clicked coordinate is stored in variable CPOS. Lastly, the clicked position is compared against the defined coordinates of each button in the supplied group names. If a match is found variables are defined that inform what button was clicked and what group it was from. Let's take a closer look at the values returned. Get.click defines multiple values to make performing conditional assessments simple when dealing with multiple groups of buttons. On a user clicking a button in any of the supplied group names, the variable, group, is defined with the group name of the button clicked. The variable clicked group name is defined with the clicked button's text content in order to be able to reference the text value. The variable valid click group name is defined with the value group name index. Get.click also defines the if.btn group name macro which allows simple conditional testing of specific buttons. Using the syntax, percent if.btn group name percent index command. The buffer macro allows switching between the alternate and main screen buffer in order to display additional info to the user without having to clear the main buffer's screen. Substring modification is used to provide the buffer to be used as shown below. Clean.exit performs the following cleanup actions. Now, let's take a look at the demo usage examples. Time to see it in action.
Are you sure? Are you sure? Questions or comments welcomed.